Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome, most likely welcome because you know, I'm a small YouTuber and I just started so I don't have that many people watching me so that's yay. I've been trying to post on Mondays but this, it's been hard lately because it's like there's a lot of things going on right now and which is weird because normally my life is pretty boring and yeah. So basically what I wanted to address is that <laughs> On Thursday I went and had my wisdom teeth removed so for three days straight I just slept the entire time like I would wake up take pain meds or whatever and then I would go back to sleep and then I'd wake up and eat like a pudding cup or something and go back to sleep I don't remember anything that happened during the procedure or anything after that I don't remember getting in the car I don't remember getting home like I don't remember anything and I tried to get my boyfriend to record me or something, hoping I would say some ridiculous things as you see people all over YouTube doing ridiculous things while they're all high on freaking laughing gas and you know, whatever else, I don't know. But yeah, so he didn't record me and he said that there was nothing really that different. Like, he, like I just was not there mentally, like I was just, zoning out basically from what he was saying as you can probably tell i am still a little bit puffy not nearly as puffy as i was i was really like a chipmunk face after it was done and stuff but now that it is tuesday yeah it's gone down quite a bit i still have gaping holes in my jaw but you know that's what you gotta deal with when you get those removed yeah so it was pretty interesting like going you know going under and like they put the IV in me, asked me if I had any final questions, and I was like, okay, cool, like, I'm freaking out, please don't kill me in my sleep. Those were, like, my thoughts at that moment when they asked me if there was any questions. And so, yeah, I didn't get to ask any questions only because I was mentally freaking out. And then I wake up, you know, for, like, for, like, a split second, I, like, come to, I guess, and I just, like, I remember, like, seeing, and I, like, looked at my arm, and I was like, okay, there's a cotton ball where the IV was. And then I felt the other arm and there's two cotton balls where the other IV was. And so this is like, gosh, this is hot. Whew. There's like this mark where they had one of the other, I don't know what they did to me. Like, I don't remember them having another thing put in this arm or anything like I remember them doing like a the monitor on my finger but that was it and so I was just like what the heck is that about what else did they put in me you know I don't know and then like as the days go on and stuff I didn't really feel much pain because you know my boyfriend's amazing and he just kept feeding me the drugs that they prescribed and then as I go on and stuff I start seeing these like little red bumps there we go so these little like red bumps and like I have one here and another one there. I mean, they're little, but I've never had them before and it kind of like freaked me out. And then earlier today in work and stuff, I had found another one. So right there, if you can see it, I don't know. It kind of just looks like an acne mark, but I'm telling you, it wasn't there. And it's not acne because there's no like acne there it's just a red dot on my face so I thought that was weird but yeah yeah after that and all that stuff I did get a lot of time to sleep and if you can't tell my face has definitely cleared up from sleeping for three days straight and I yeah I'm pretty freaking happy about happy about that I've also been using Curology so hopefully that has been working as well um, I'm really curious to see like how my acne acts up and stuff in the next couple days, weeks, whatever. Because I've always had a problem with picking out my skin if you can't tell at all the little marks and dots and stuff all over my face. I've always had that problem like I just I just see it and I have to get it out like I just oh, you know. So after not touching my face or not doing anything to my face, my face has honestly significantly cleared up since you know before the surgery and I'm just like trying to figure it out I'm like okay is it curology which I'm hoping it is because I'm paying for it is it 
that I'm not touching my face constantly and getting oily grossness fingers all over my skin and clogging my pores and stuff and making it break out is it that well, I haven't worn any makeup which I rarely do in the first place but I gotta make that point makeup does clog my pores a lot that's why I don't like wearing makeup unless it's like eyeshadow maybe eyebrows to fill them in make them look nicer than this riggedy stuff and then also they got me on these like steroids to help with you know keep it from getting infected and all that stuff whatever so I don't know if it's like the steroids or anything else I don't know but yeah I don't know it's it's mind-boggling but all I know is after these things heal up then my plan is to go and try out the smile direct club because I want to get these fixed <laughs> so yeah I mean my teeth have always been like this I feel like a freaking like a bunny rabbit I mean it's not like horribly bad or anything but my teeth they're down here and then they go up and then they come down again it's like I don't like it because when I smile some ways you know there's those holes and I just uh, I yeah I don't like it and then my bottom teeth I would show you but I feel like it's kind of gross and a lot of people don't want to see that um, my bottom teeth are very crammed and jam-packed because of my wisdom teeth pushing for so many years on those teeth so they're all jam-packed and like mingled and stuff like that and so I'm hoping that I can get my teeth straightened eventually hopefully probably in the next few videos and stuff I'm going to upload this video about like how to set up my hail protector for my car because I freaking love it <laughs> so when I do that video and stuff I really do want to get it up so that I can you know share it with other people car enthusiasts who want to keep their cars you know good you I mean you don't even have to be a car enthusiast you just have to be smart and not want to have to pay a 500 plus deductible for when your car gets hailed on and yeah but I don't know what I'm going on about so yeah keep an eye out for that one um, it's pretty cool and it's a lot cheaper than my deductible was and I will show you how I set it up and I will go through tips that I used to set it up and like how I use like the app that it comes with and also some suggestions as far as extra stuff to get it get with it but that was my plan to do on monday and i just didn't do it i got too consumed by watching marie kondo tidying up other people's houses or whatever and so i started cleaning out my own stuff <laughs> yeah so pretty much the next few videos and stuff are going to be like vlog style like this and that camera is burning hot. I've had my camera in my car for like a while now because I was afraid, you know, there was people like watching me scuffle around in my car. So I had put all my valuables and stuff in a secret place in my car. And so it's been in here and it has just been roasting for at least a week now. And my poor camera, I spent so much money on it. Yeah. So that's everything. And I'm gonna go home now and hopefully edit this and put it up because I failed to do a video yesterday. Okay, bye.